Everybody, welcome back to uh, the Sonic Lost World LP. We're back in the uh, not so silent forest, <laughs> and we're joined by uh, everyone's favorite LP -er and review maker, some cool me SpongeBob. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> You're not supposed to say anything. That's my <laughs> secret Christmas time nickname, man. <laughs> Don't look in the box. Yeah, no, I won't look in the box at all. Uh, Gareth, I'm looking at the quality settings here. Man, 720p, but not 60 frames per second. Hey, Chris, Chris, upload. This is, this is from well, June fair, 2nd, or 12th. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is from before the 60 frames was implemented. When this goes up online, this will be 60 frames. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after one Damn failed it. commentary and announcing we were doing this like 13 months like ago. A, like a year ago. Johnny, what is, what is it with you making comments about Lost World that get proved to be false a second after you make them? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, uh, let me see. Um, let me let me try it out. Uh, Sonic Lost World is a great game. No, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let me. Uh, let me. Uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me shut up. Let's be fair. The video <laughs> we're watching the record. This is 30 frames per second. So he didn't lie. He didn't lie, but he was he was in, inferring that the final video would be 60 frames, which it will be. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, Silent Forest. Why do you think this was called Silent Forest Fall? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna... You know, I never really thought about that until this very video. Then again, why is, why is it called Desert... Why is it? Why is it called desert? What was it called? The desert zone. I think desert it's called ruins. Desert ruins, and you're, you're you're running on giant donuts and pastries. <laughs> no, uh, that John, that level is clearly called desert ruins. That's fine. That makes perfect uh, sense. I'm sorry, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Silent Force, though. You know, it, it, I think the only time it makes proper sense is I think it's uh, Act Two of this place. The stealth level. Where? The owls, yeah, the stealth yeah. level. But yeah, this this place is pretty noisy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like loud springs, giant rolling rocks, and like, you know. I will say, though, they're not, like, I will say, I do like these kind of spider badniks. I think they're pretty nice design. Like, they aren't, they aren't any more threatening than a standard badnik, but at least this is an original, at least this is Sonic Lost World doing something original, as opposed to just rehashing, like, motorbugs, you know, and, like, buzz bombers and shit. Well, I, th I think it's one of the only, uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, uh, badniks, that require both a kick and a homing attack to kill. Yeah, it, it and crab meat, I think, or two. Uh, yeah, because uh, when I think of kick only enemies, I immediately think of the snail Ugh. in Windy Hill. Uh, yeah, my sentiments exactly. <laughs> uh, and yeah, th I think that's about it. Uh, the mushrooms here are returning from Mushroom Hill Zone. You know, g give Lost World credit. It was nice to see a lot of returning badniks from games other than Sonic One and Two. It would have been nice if we hadn't seen a bunch of them in Generations. Uh, were the mushrooms in uh, Generations? Well, no, like, like, not the mushrooms specifically, but I'm like, we just had a game, and I, I've made this point so many times now, I'm sure I'm getting redundant, but we just had a game, and I'm not forgetting Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2. Chris, what the f fudge are you doing? <laughs> You're just mocking those flickies. It's <laughs> the animal capsule for 599 rings over a QVC. You have to work for your freedom on this planet. <laughs> I was, um, like, if, 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 like, if the last few games hadn't been so nostalgia heavy, you know, again, you know, Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2 and Generations, like, maybe I, w I wouldn't be as critical as, I mean, it's a very small point, you know, like, I don't dislike Lost World because of it, it's just a small nitpick I have. Um, but like, we just saw a bunch of old badniks, like, do we really need, like, a shitload more of them in this game? See, I don't think so. for me, um, using badniks again isn't a bad thing, because Mario uses the same fucking enemies all the time, and it's not an issue, it's just, it just comes off as bad, because the way the rest of the game likes to use nostalgic elements like that. I'm the to agree. Thing. I, I don't have a problem with badniks. As I said before, I love those spider badniks. I have a problem with them reusing the, the rehashing the same old ones. Because like, to be fair, like Sonic One, like Sonic One CD two and three, three and K. We we'll, include we'll three and K as one game. Very little. In fact, maybe like, I can't. I'm trying to think of, of reused badniks. I think there's not very many, if none at all. Uh, off the top of my head, no. Uh, if not. Reusing the same badnik, then the same concept but different design. I mean, yeah, I mean, like there's there's buzzers and buzz bombers, same idea, different design, and they work differently. Um, oh, and this is the um, Seinfeld cutscene. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so like, I mean, again, that makes I would have no liked sense it. if you haven't seen that video. <laughs> that makes no sense if you haven't seen uh, Chris's Seinfeld. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, oh, sorry, Chris took this cutscene, and, and at the end, here, as it pans out, he just played the Seinfeld theme. Like, and then the audience going, oh. <laughs> but, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I just Jeez. don't think the bad Nick reusing is an inherently bad thing. Again, again, again. I am, I am going on. I'm becoming Ted here and focusing way too much on this point. But like, it's just a, <laughs> it's just a. I would much leave the kid alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to see how much. And you know what? Ryan hates Skywood Sword. How dare that guy? We <laughs> heard what Ted um, thinks of Gen Four. Ugh. Let's oh. blame his ass get in. Speaking of, oh yeah, I forgot we, we I forgot we skipped that cutscene. <laughs> You don't like Zor either. Chris did that by accident. And you know what? It it sucks because I was about to make a joke of speaking of Ted. Look, there he is. But damn it, it doesn't work now. Um, I think the thing the thing I have was like I I you know I I have no problem with with them doing badniks. Again, badniks are like Sonic's kind of staple. I'd say at this point, badniks and the egg pawns are kind of like the most uh, recognizable Sonic villains. Um, I just wish they you know had. More new ones, but enough of you that. wish they still had the creative flow they had, you know. It, as as you mentioned, the Sonic One, Two, and Three and Knuckles example earlier. If they can keep rethinking, uh, thinking of new uh, versions of uh, old badniks, then you would like to see that continue in the 3D games. Is that what you're pretty much saying? Pretty much. I mean, like, I mean, to go back to Sonic um, Four for a second, like Episode One was nothing but rehashes. Yes. Um, with the exception of say Bubbles, Episode Two pretty much had completely original. Badniks. Yeah, or take on new takes on new old takes badniks. on them. Yeah. yeah, um, and for that I, you know, I greatly appreciated. Um, this is the stupidest wisp. Yeah. Because <laughs> again, like we said it before, like like um in the past the wisps, um wisps have been either like um like a shape or like um or like a thing. They're, like uh, rhythm, it's more of like it's it's Sonic turning into an ab abstract idea like he's turning it into music itself uh, yes which is kind of doesn't fit with the theme of the other wish i gotta ask I, I, i'm sure neither or none of us have played this game recently but for you two did the rhythm wisp, wisp ever just stop functioning and like taking Absolutely. your inputs all the time okay that's why when i don't like the when, I, when i'm not bashing it over the point of it in the first place I, I'm hating it because it just stopped reading my finger taps. Okay, because I, um, I definitely left some footage in where that happens to me, because it... Yeah, it, it just falls straight down without it doing anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why... It I happened to me it. as well, too. And it, and it doesn't get any better with the patch. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> but speaking I, of, how, how, have you guys gotten into the patch already, I'm, I'd imagine, earlier parts? A few things, yeah, we, this is, is using... Um, Version 3. Patch 3.0, which I think the only difference is that you, we, we still don't hear the wisp music on the TV. Uh, I think it depends on whether or not the volume on the gamepad is down. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, if it's all the way down, then everything that's supposed to play on the gamepad exclusively now plays on the TV. That might be it. I just always leave it full blast, so... Uh, yeah, it, it depends on the game for me. Oh, because I know we, we touched on this on, on the branch crash front, but I, I kind of like this, this section. It's, it's original. I'll give it that. Like, Sonic Lost World tries a few things. Some of them, to me, are just kind of uh, boring. I do like... I mean, I don't like everyone's like, oh, it's too slow, it's too slow. But, like, I don't mind slow... I don't mind slower sections here and there in Sonic games. It's all right. Never... Some, may, some may call it ambitious. I call it lost. Get up here awake! But, uh... You know... The thing that I think played Sonic Lost World the most is that it didn't know what it wanted to do with itself. It is, it is flowing with all sorts of different ideas, some good, some bad. It really all depends on whether or not you like that sort of attempt in the first place. Like you, you enjoy the stealth section. I thought it was okay. I mean, it's, it's something different. I can commend it for that. But it's, whether it's, or not it's it fits with and, the rest and of and relatively whatever, inoffensive. That's a, That's what. It's short and relatively inoffensive. It, yes, compared to other things they do in this game, like the yes. flight section, the snowball in Frozen oh, Factory. Oh my god. It kind of feels like Sonic Team wants to do some basic platforming stuff for themselves that Sonic can't really get away with, but they can't make different games like they used to be able to, so they just kind of just throw it in Sonic. Does that make any sense? Uh, yeah. Well, I think that reaches a pinnacle with Boom. Oh, I think yeah. that's what Big Red Button were trying to do as well. And... Look, as I said in other videos, 
Sonic and speed are synonymous. It's what separates him from the rest. If you take that away, it doesn't work. At the very least, don't tell me it's a Sonic game. And that's why Sonic Labyrinth sucks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, you can still spin dash in that game, though. You can still spin dash and boom, let's make it, let's make it oh, oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's, something, that's something I wanted to bring up. I was really down on the um, Lost World spin dash, but again, after playing people, I'm like, you know what? They ain't too bad. They ain't too bad. <laughs> at least he has somewhat, at least he has a somewhat semi-decent sense of speed with his spin dash in this game. <laughs> yeah. Look, because I'm not going to say that Lost World is suddenly a good game because of Boom. It makes me appreciate Lost World yeah, a little bit. Yeah, pretty more. much. That's my reaction. I, I, I think that's what me and Ted have that view as well. Yeah. Speaking of Ted, we just knocked them out. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Ted. One thing I want to quickly say, on the 3DS version, the Deadly Six flat out fly. <laughs> <laughs> in, like, in like the boss levels, they flat out fly away. Exit stage north. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of this 3DS version, have you guys have any experience with the 3DS version of Sonic Lost World? Um, yeah, we brought it up earlier. Um, I, I bought it pretty much for the extent of making a vine about it. Um, I, luckily, my my copy, because me and Chris both bought our copies used from Gamefly, luckily mine came with every level unlocked, so I could just pick and choose which levels I wanted <laughs> oh, to play. Oh, you lucky prick. <laughs> I know, right? Mine came with the data wiped, so I played two levels and never ever wanted to play it again. <laughs> uh, okay, that's okay, you played the best part of the game. Yeah. I love Tails' is, uh, position there. Draw me like one of your French foxes. <laughs> we can work this to our advantage. <laughs> I will say, I do like the fact that, like, I fuck that Tails, it, like, he doesn't care. Like, he, like he's not afraid. I, I like I like that aspect. He's not afraid. He's just annoyed. <laughs> that, that whole thing. <laughs> that finger wave gets me every time. <laughs> I know. I will say, like, um... In terms of, like, I, I kind of like the Deadly Six's designs. One thing I will say is that I really like Zavik's mouth. I like how, like, his bot. I like, I like, I love how, like, his bottom lip is connected to, like, his chin. I really like I, Zavik's I like that. mouth. Which doesn't make any sense when you begin thinking about it. Like, how it does doesn't, does he, but it looks how does cool. He speak? <laughs> I could do without his, his, like, for, his, like, neon blue toenail color. You know, like, I could do without that for his design, I'll be honest. Kind of clashes if you think about it. But. Gareth, we established this with Xena. Nail art is very important to the Deadly Six. <laughs> Nail art is love. Nail art is life. So wait, are we in Silent Forest or Frozen Factory? Both. I don't know. Oh. I will say like um. I love this not responding there. By the way. <laughs> one of one of the things that um the Sonic team they've said they went for for this game, and it's it's an a concept I can get behind. In previous games, like say Colors, they said like um they, they had they had to kind of design the the level structure and the level background to um adhere to the established um, theme of the zone. Like basically, so when you're in Tropical Resort, you can look at any level and know you're you're in Tropical Resort. Yeah. That they wanted to do something where they kind of varied up the um, level designs, but you wouldn't um instantly be able to look at a level and think you know like, take for this one. If you were just to look at this level, you would assume, oh, we're in Frozen Factory because there's ice on the floor. Yeah. The problem I have with it is that um, it's it's a good idea. Like, like so many things in this Sonic game and so many things in past Sonic games, it's a good idea, terrible execution. Yeah, because uh, there's one thing I want to say because I, I, I've been thinking about it for like the last year. You, you know what really made me think about it? Galaxy 2. Mm -hmm. I don't mind levels having no rhyme or reason to why they're here. Or why they're constructed like this. Who cares? <laughs> it's... You call it Silent Forest. That's where I have an issue. Like, if if all of these worlds that we went through were disconnected to each other, they weren't part of a singular zone, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be bitching at all. Uh, but the fact that they're attached to something as the, the concept of a single world, yep. I have issues with it. That's why it, it confuses me when... You call it desert. Even if you call it desert ruins, that, that's a that's a clever write around. I I can give them that. But at the end of the day, it's in the desert world, which is confusing. You have this ice tunnel, which is in Silent Forest. The worst. The, the worst is still the um the uh, second grinding level in Lava Mountain. Yes, the, the 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 tropical resort underwater grinding level. That's in Lava Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, my my thing is, is like, um, sorry, Chris, I, I, mean, um, I just want to quickly say that my thing is that I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of, if 
like very late in the game, they just moved around like level order. Yeah. Yeah. Like put this here, put this here. You know. Yeah. Make like it, like, make like it, oh, make you know, it let's 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 put this let's put this kind of yeah. the uh, cave oh, level if anything, in Sign of Desert Forest. Desert Ruin Zone Two would have functioned better as one of the hidden worlds. Yeah. You know, <laughs> pretty much. You know that the, those worlds are already trippy as fuck as all, as as they already are. So it, I think it would make more. Sonic is hanging by his toe. I was going to say, the animal capsule. going off what we were talking about, even Super Mario 3D World shows all these different level tropes on the same map, but it still just calls it World 2 and World 3, yeah. so it's... It, it doesn't have a naming convention to stick to, just World 1, World 2, and, it, and that's how I was able to get away with it. Mm -hmm. And in that game, I welcome non-desert levels being in the desert area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, agree, think, I agree. I think all of us can agree the biggest issue it has... Is that it refers to the individual acts as zones? No, I don't get that. <laughs> no, Sega, this is not Sonic CD. It was stupid then, and it's stupid now. <laughs> Unforgivable. <laughs> I will say I do love. I think, like we said before, like they're all so one notes, or in the case of Xena, zero notes. <laughs> but like, Zoo has some of the best dialogue. Again, like I'd love the fact that in a Sonic the Hedgehog game we have lines of dialogue like. What's the point? We're all gonna die anyway. Or in the end, <laughs> only the Reaper wins. I think it's amazing. The joke that I agree that I, I like the joke that dialogue like that isn't a Sonic game. Yeah, you know, it is so <laughs> out of place. But that's, the arts, funny. The, the arts type, I do, I can't agree with that because the emo stereotype that is 2005. It, you know, it, it, it is, it is about is, it, it is about 10 years out of date. Like yes, yeah. <laughs> But to be fair, so are the so are the way so are like the they're like the female stereotype is like a fifty years out of date. Oh yeah, you know? I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not agreeing with that either. <laughs> so <laughs> Zor know? should have been in Shadow of the Hedgehog, is what we're saying. Pretty much, yes. Zor would have been a perfect villain for Shadow of the Hedgehog. Can, it would have, can we just, just give Black Doom those lines? Can we just retroactively make Zor in that game instead of Black Doom and have Zor make Shadow? Because I'd be much more accepting of that. You were created for my blood, so I... I don't know, that would have been amazing. <laughs> just, just have Zor sing like, almost dead. Yeah, we're almost dead. Whatever. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. Or just, make, or just give Black Doom Zor's lines, you know? You know what I love in the background? <laughs> like, I never noticed that those waterfalls, it looks like that giant stone thing was crying. Because yeah. it's like, that's hilarious. <laughs> Now this this is lost on you guys, but those those um, circles with the uh, kind of the, the face and the mouth is going up and down. That's in the exact um, that looks like exactly like a British plug socket where you would plug something in. Something. Oh, I need to I need to insert my Wii U like and plug in that thing. <laughs> but it keeps turning around. <laughs> Do you guys think this level has a really bad blending of different colors and just not being as polished looking as other levels graphically? Well, you're, you're talking about Sonic CD earlier. This is where you get Sonic CD. I'm thinking like a Good Future Collision Chaos. Yeah. With this, uh, <laughs> this light blue and these pinks and like, you know, go, drilling through brownies. It's like it's like with all with all, with all, all of the of the, like the, the flashing neon lights and the kind of mismatched in like uh, colors as as we've noticed. This is kind of like if I I wouldn't be surprised if Sega had let Joe Schumacher direct this level. Just like, oh my god, get away. <laughs> oh, that thing has a little blinking face, too. I killed it. Yeah. <laughs> you monster. I didn't know what that I was doing. That will never sell the amiibo. <laughs> it's like an alien took control of me. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is something I actually had a conversation, Chris, with our friend Jonathan. Now, in terms of the wisps, right, I, I, I view this... As, and as, it was as, as kind of been shown in some of these promotion images and expressed through dialogue in Sonic Colors. I viewed like the Wisps are the Wisps turning Sonic into these designs. Yeah. Yeah. Our friend Jonathan, he he views it as the Wisps merging with Sonic, and I'm like, not really. He clearly like if you look at the cover up the colors, his legs are clearly a laser beam. Like he's clearly being you know his body's being like merged paint. I, what I assume is and hopefully painfully. Into these weird designs. So wait, <laughs> Jonathan said they're what fusing or? Yeah, as opposed to like uh, this game. Uh, empowering bad. Sonic. Yeah, because yeah. if they were fusing, though, you would see the Wisp exit Sonic's body. Yeah. 
Because I used Which, to you know, think I, that I as well. Believe, I, believe, I believe in colors you do. Hmm. I always took it as a, a temporary aura that surrounded Sonic and also just gave him Sonic eyes and, you know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I think it's because... I don't think in, too uh... hard about that because I honestly don't give a shit. <laughs> if, 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 any, if anyone read the uh, most recent arc of Sonic, or at this point when it comes out, maybe an arc ago, of Sonic Universe, um, Total Eclipse, they had Eclipse the Darkling, and he has he has a bunch of, like, bla of um, Dark Arms Wisps, and, and when they merge with them, like, they kind of... Um, change Eclipse's body so like when he uses um the evil version of Eagle he grows wings instead of him being merged into a kind of eagle if that makes sense so I guess oh, yeah, it was yeah. from that we would just start talking about that this section this is clearly just like oh you know the Nintendo did this way forward did this let's do a completely point in the shadow section. I think even as far back as Oddworld or one of those games they did something similar to that but mm. yeah. what's weird is that like um it looks amazing in Donkey Kong Country because you have the amazing sunset in the background. Here we just have kind of blandly colored. It feels kind of sterile. I think the the word the most pointless section is why the hell can't you home and attack bad guys in the dark for? Yeah, that, I think that's the biggest problem I have. Artistic choice, I don't think it's that bad. It's not offensive, but I I completely agree as to why you cannot homing attack or attack anything at all if you like you, even if you attempt to bounce on something i believe you get hurt yep yeah uh which makes no sense <laughs> because uh what's the difference between jumping on an enemy while it's light up between jumping on an enemy when it's dark out? sonic loses all his confidence in the dark and loses oh. his energy oh wow we're oh, really no, getting this deep self-esteem shit here i will say we just passed possibly the darkest line in the game where um where zor goes you know like you, you you're smiling and that, and like, I, I want to hurt you, but if I hurt you, that that will make me, that will make me smile, <laughs> which will hurt me. Cool. Because like, just like, they kind of did push the boundaries just, just on Black Doom with character. These lines. Just imagine Black Doom with these lines. <laughs> <laughs> if we, if I ever, if we ever meet Sean Shamel, I'm gonna have him recite all of the Zor's dialogue in Black Doom's voice. Fuck this sliding gimmick. Seriously. My only joy is in joylessness. <laughs> That, that, that was more Batman than Black Doom, but I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we just get over. You know, if, if we ever meet Tom Hardy, we just have him do it as well. <laughs> he looks pretty upbeat. <laughs> See, I love how I had so much trouble the first time, and this time it's just like, whatever, I beat you. Fuck this boss. Just remember. What is up with those arrows in the background, man? Like, look at them. Look at the one in the background <laughs> spazzing the, 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 the out. Yeah, the one in the background is spazzing. I can't stop staring at the one in the background. <laughs> what is Zor doing to these poor owls? <laughs> My god. Uh, <laughs> Johnny, thank you so much for joining us on Not So uh, Silent Forest. Um, as, as we've been doing with all of our guests at this point, um, is the, uh, has your opinion changed since we did the OP and since Boom? Like, do you have any updated thoughts on Lost World? Or is it just still like, eh? Uh, it's still pretty eh. Uh, again, I will say two things. One, uh, Boom has made me appreciate Lost World a little more. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, still, my review still stands for the most part. I can say that the patch that was released, I think, two days after my initial review went up, <laughs> uh, does fix some things to make it a better experience and not so horseshit. But it is... Uh, nowadays, you can get Sonic Lost World for, I think, I don't know, 20 bucks. Uh, yeah. I think it's worth that price. Uh, it, was f it was 15 bucks on Black Friday at Target, and I that's why I was late to your um, Smash train because I went out with the hopes of buying it. But <laughs> but they were sold out, and after leaving, I was like, you know what, upon reflection, I'm glad. I'm glad I got yeah. to keep my $15. It is, it is now at an affordable price that I think it's worth. That at that amount of money because you know that's another thing that's one just to wrap things up here I don't want to go on too long but one of the things that you, you consider when you're talking about a game that you're not sure is good or not is and one of the demeaning factors of it is it's 50 bucks you know you spend 50 yep. bucks on this mediocre piece of crap <laughs> um, that that's more directed towards boom than lost world but it's 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 nonetheless a factor but now a year later it, it's been patched a bit it's cheaper. If you still haven't bought it, you're curious. It's pretty harmless to spend 15, 20 bucks on it now. I so. would say it's worth the fifteen bucks just for the Legend of Zelda DLC. That's yeah, yeah, which is free. Um, which is free. which is free. Which is, so, uh, Johnny, anything you'd like to plug? Anything upcoming you'd like to plug? 
same, same as always, my review channel at youtube.com slash some call me Johnny and my Let's Play channel, uh, uh, YouTube. No, that's a long name. Just look for us under the Super Gaming Brothers. You'll find it. And of course, Brain Scratch <laughs> commentaries. Who now? Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, we should. Uh, I should. I should get you to meet up them at one point. They sound like they sound like charming people, except for that Ted guy. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the boy alone. <laughs> But thanks for inviting me, Gareth. I appreciate it. Yeah.